Hey guys, it's your favorite Unc here. Go ahead and click that subscribe button below so you don't miss a single episode of Nightcap. That button right here. Come for the sports, stay for the stories. Man, Snoop, bro. Everybody was, Snoop, I didn't know I was on IG Live. Everybody with people that I normally talk to, they calling me FaceTime. And I'm like, and what they were trying to do is that, and what they told me today, Shannon, all you had to do was just pick up and it would have interrupted the cut stream. your live off and your live wouldn't have came back on. I didn't know. I didn't know that. I had no idea. Hell, I didn't know I was You got to get you a young, you got to get you a young, young I was, I was, I you got to get a Gen Z assistant to be on deck for you. One of them youngsters that know this technology that's always on point for you, huh? Snoop, Snoop, I was knee deep. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When she's a, when she talking about I got a cramp, Hey, give me five more seconds. Hey, 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 I got a cramp too. <laughs> we both cramping together. You know what I'm saying? And man, Snoop, man, I man, look here. You talk about heart. I, I can't think of a time. I can only think of three other times that I that I felt my heart drop like it did yesterday. And each time, it was three words that was said. Shannon. I'm pregnant. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. That 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 do be the hard. That be the hard <laughs> dropper right there. <laughs> that, the, so four times in my life, Snoop, I heard yeah. something and my heart literally left my body. And that was the same feeling. The exact same mm. feeling. I, and now I'm sitting. I'm sitting. I'm sitting there with my hand, my head in my hands, and I'm thinking to myself, Lord, what have I done? Lord, what have I done? What have I done? And she's trying to tell me it's going to be okay. You good. You safe right. with me. I told you, you right. safe. You always going to be safe. Your brand is yes. safe. I'm like, I say, but I say, but I say, but I say, but I say, but, and I was talking just like I'm talking to you, right? You see, I couldn't get it out. Mm -hmm. of That's what I was, I was like, man. And I'm thinking to myself, I said, I just threw all of, all, everything is going so good. And I just threw it all away. But that's what you thought. And that's that's like, like you know, you you get tested. You a child of God. So one thing about him, he going to keep testing you the whole way, you know, and he going to give you all of that, that joy. And he going to give you the pain. Just like when you had to leave the other network, everybody was yep. with you. You didn't think motherfuckers was with you. See what I'm saying? Just like when this shit happened, you didn't think motherfuckers was with you. Yeah, man. <laughs> Reading the comments and to seeing everybody, the positivity snoop and to see everybody man, up. Hey, we got you. We down with you, Unc. Man, I, I was like, wow. But still, I, you still, because like you said, I'm dealing with corporate. And look, Snoop, I I had an interview with this person. It was going to be the biggest name I had to date. And they say, no, uh, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do it. Uh, I've had some six, seven figure deals um, that the sponsors have said, we're not, we're there, not, we're in a holding pattern. So I'm not going to get the money that I was supposed to be getting. And it, they might terminate it. They might not. They say we're just going to be in a holding pattern for the next thirty to sixty days, and uh, and so you know. I, but I, I'm I'm big into this, Snoop. This how this is how I am. I might not. Be, I, I can control my actions, but I don't get to control the consequences. Right. Whatever the consequences that comes from my actions, I man up. <clears throat> you did that. I don't blame nobody. I didn't say I didn't. I, I'm not going to say I got set up. I'm not going to say this. I'm going to stay. I'm going to stand in the face of adversity. Because I put myself there and I'm gonna own it. Did, I did wear. that. And that's that's the part that was humbling to the people that support you. And even the ones who didn't, the ones who didn't support you had to recognize that you're giving a lesson, now you're teaching. Because everybody make mistakes, but how do you deal with your mistake? You had to deal with yours publicly. A lot of motherfuckers make mistakes publicly, every day and don't nobody know nothing, and they just, you know, dealing with it. And that's but Snoop, that's why. I do everything private. And see, this is what bothered me because now this is really one of the first times that I've had. Because I, if you date, if you date privately, you can break right. up privately. But if you date publicly, what break you got to do? Public. When people know y'all dating, they see all of a sudden y'all stop following each other. Now y'all blocked each other. Now they don't see y'all together. If they so happen to see her and not you, or they see you and not her, now everybody trying to piece things together. They've never been able to do that because they've never seen right. me with anyone. So that tends to speculation, conjecture, and innuendo. Mm -hmm. I'm cool right. with that. But this is something that happened publicly. So now I have to deal with it. Right. But it's, it's because you become a public figure. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Yes. A lot of times when 
in the world of sports, you know, you're a public figure when the games is on. After that, you know, you can just, you know, hide yourself the uniform and on. But when you, you know, waking up to you every day and seeing you, hearing you, interviewing you at nighttime, like you didn't create a different platform for yourself. It ain't just get up in the morning. You got this show, that show, this shit, that shit. So it's like, yep. can't nobody stop your motion right now. This is just like I say, you being tested because you're a child of God. Anytime you're a child of God, he's always going to test you. You never going to always just have it either all bad or all good. It's going to be a little bit of both. Yeah. And that's how you build strength. Hey, you, hey, I'll say this. The only way to have a testimony is to be tested. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. Man, Snoop, man, I got to tell you about this, uh, this, this, this Olympic, bro. What you were able to do. I've never seen anybody, I've never seen anybody have a transformation like you. Cam touched on it a little bit. But for to go from where you came from, you one of the you one of the most recognizable people on the planet. There's not a place you can go that is populated by people in which they don't know who you are. And to see that ascension, to see that you gay, okay, most people just knew know you for rapping and and and, and being from Long Beach and doing what you did, and to overcome that and to be a household name standing beside. Martha Stewart uh, and and Martha Stewart is 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 is, is clean if, and you're right there with her. You got you've hosted game shows. Uh, you go anywhere to any event and you take center stage. Now you're at the Olympics. You're the biggest person at the Olympics. I'm talking about you bigger than the athletes. Mm. Did when you were growing up in Long Beach, could you have imagined that Calvin? Life would be like this. Not in a million years, you know, because the Olympics was something that came around, you know, four years. And then you would, you know, see it on TV. You would look at the athletes and these was the greatest athletes in the world because they represented your country. So to, to even watch the Olympics was like a feat. So to be able to go there was never in the equation. But knowing that when I had the opportunity, I was going to be the biggest kid there. I was going to have the most fun. I was going to do the things that, you know, we would do. If we was given the opportunity to, to prance around and dance right. around in Paris, but be respectable and be clean as a whistle. You know what I'm saying? So that way the brand and the networks can understand that they're dealing with a profession. Right. Man, I love that. I love that. I mean, you would be, I mean, you at every event, you cheering, you trading pin. They give you your own pin. Snoop, you got a pin. I bet you your pin, I bet you you traded what people wanted that Snoop Dogg pin more than any other athlete in the That's building. That's crazy you said that because it was. I thought one of the little uh, the movie star dude. I think it was it wasn't Tom Cruise. It was somebody one of the big movie stars that was out there, and he slid up on me. I thought he was trying to get a, you know, a picture. He was like, "Sadie Snoop Dogg, what's up with one of them pins?" I'm like, "Oh, cause I thought I thought you was trying to get a flick. You didn't <laughs> slid up on me to get a pin. You didn't got past security with the old pin trick." <laughs> Man, I mean, Snoop, that, that's that's um, that's unbelievable, man. I mean, man, to see you and to know you, and that's what I tell people. I said, you know, a lot of times that you meet people and they they cool, but if they see you again and they're not in that very similar situation, they might not be as right. cool. I met this man at time. I, I don't know if you remember, but back in '93, time used to have a celebrity basketball yes, sir, game at, at oh oh at oh Georgia Tech. Hello? I don't know if Hello? it was Phillips. Or Georgia Tech. Yes. Yes. A, 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 a charity yes, basketball sir. game. And that was the first time that I met you. And ever since then, no matter the no matter the occasion, no matter where, you the exact same. If you didn't know better, you swore you go, you swore you grew up with Snoop. You know what? That's, me? that's my mother. My mother and she brought me up that way. When I was a kid, the era I grew up in, the the word was always go outside and play. It never be yes. like now these kids are just in the house 24-7. It's like it was always go outside and play. Playing video right. games. So when, even when we would go to other people's house to go visit, if she had friends in different cities, when we get there, get out of grown folks' business, go outside and play. So I had to mingle and I had to meet people. And that's what I got good at because I was never afraid to say who I was and what's your name? Can I play with you? Can I hang out with you? What's that you doing? You know what I'm saying? So it's like it just translated into me as an adult. Being able to say, okay, yeah, when I became successful, the first thing I did was track down all of the greats, whether it was George Clinton, Charlie Wilson, Bootsy Collins, whoever it was, I tracked them down. And if they were still able to sing, I made records with them and I told them how much I loved them. I forged a relationship wow. with Quincy Jones. 
You know what I'm saying? I forged a relationship with Muhammad Ali. Like, I went and met the goats and the greats because I'm just a big-ass kid. So now when the game flips and I'm that guy, I understand it. I understand what I mean to people. So that's why I try to walk in a different light coming from the darkness. Wow, man, that's unbelievable, Snoop. Man, I, hey, continue success. Uh, uh, I think I heard that you're working with Dr. Dre and you got some music yeah, coming yeah, out. Yeah, when yeah, is that yeah, going to drop? Yeah. It's going to be this year, next, early, be next, early year. next year. Me, Snoop, me, Snoop, and Dre. <laughs> this nigga Chad a fool. Yeah, really. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, 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 I took, I took a, I took a little nap, a little cat nap. I'm back now, though. <laughs> back. Now I'm going to see Dre tomorrow to go finish it up. It's called Missionary. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's right. a record we've been working on for a while. It's thirty years in the making. It's the first time me and him did a whole record together since Doggy Style. And I feel like we both wow. on our, on our A game right now. We both are like really peaking. Like he's proud of me. I'm proud of him, and we challenging each other. One thing about me and him. It ain't always like, you know, happy, happy, happy. It's like we challenge each other. And that's what brings us the best right. of us is that I'm willing to go sit down and be challenged. As hot as I am, as big as I am, I put that to the back seat and said, fuck that. I want to go sit with Dre and let him do all the shit he do as if I was a rookie. So that way I can fine tune my shit and not be cocky and conceited, but be a student again. When you when you go work with Dre, obviously he's at the top of the pecking order when it comes to producer that's, 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 that does what he does. And you go in there and you are who you are. How do you find that balance between him pushing you and you're like, oh, hey, hold up now, you know I'm the D-O-double-G, right? Well, the, the balance is when I'm with him, if you watch our whole careers together, he's always been in the driver's seat. I've never okay. been in the driver's seat. If you watch all of the videos and all of the depictions of me and him, he was always, I started yep. off in the back seat and DOC was in the passenger seat. Then I moved to the passenger seat. Correct. And then I was able to adjust the music. Then I was able to roll the windows down. I was able to put some <laughs> girls in the back seat. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> but I never was able to grab the steering wheel to drive because I would crash. He's a mm. better driver at this than I am. I'm better being in the passenger wow. seat, making sure that, you know, I'm doing the shit that I do. I know my role, right. Shannon. I, I know that he's the quarterback, and I know that I have to run my routes, and I know that sometimes I may not get the ball or we may not pass, but I don't give a fuck. I'm going to block hard. I'm going to do all the shit I got to do. So when he do finally throw me that but we gonna score that when he touchdown. finally throw me that motherfucker, I'm wide open, and I got the coldest end zone dance you niggas have never seen. <laughs> Snoop, we going to get you out of here on this one. There's a lot been said. Uh, obviously, when the Super Bowl came to L.A., Dr. Dre, you... Uh, 50 was up there. You brought out M. You had Mary J. Now the Super Bowl goes to lose, uh, uh, New Orleans and the native son, Lil Wayne. And that goes to one of your colleagues. You know, K-Doc, Kendrick Lamar, had an unbelievable summer. Uh, but he had he does unbelievable music. I think he's one of Dre's protege. W w where are you on that? How do, I mean, obviously, you know, you being in L.A., you can't have you can't have performers in LA doing the halftime show and D O W G ain't up there. Where where are you on at, at on this situation, uh, Snoop? Well, I don't really have no opinion, but what I do want to say is that just remember what the NFL was 15 years ago when it mm -hmm. comes to hip hop. Mm -hmm. yeah. How many hip hop artists was able to grace that stage 15 years ago? So I understand both sides of the coin, and I understand how people feel. I have no answer, no opinion, because I had the opportunity to get up there via Dr. Dre. I didn't do any Snoop Dogg songs. I was up there helping Dr. Dre, and it became a great moment for all of us. So anytime anybody yes. can get on that Super Bowl stage, remember this. It's a 12, 13-minute performance, and you're not getting paid. Mm. So it's more or less you have to spend money to upgrade your show to make it mass appealing for the audience that's home watch. So at the same time, Lil Wayne is the GOAT of New Orleans rap. Remember, I was at No Limit Records for three years, and I watched his whole yes. career come to life and then watched them become the biggest. I watched him get bigger than me. You feel what I'm saying? And I was gigantic at the time, yeah. and I love seeing his growth. And me and Wayne is family to this day. Me and Kendrick is family to this day. And me and Jay-Z and me, me and Roger Godell. So I don't know who is the decision maker. All I know is that I'll be home watching the Super Bowl, and when the halftime show come on, I'll be watching that as well. Oh, yeah.
nah, you need to be in New Orleans because we're going to be on tour. Nightcap is going to have a tour Thursday night, so we need you to be one of the guests on the platform with You got to have some crawfish and some gumbo. That's the only way you're going to get me there. We ha- we'll have we'll have whatever you, whatever you want. You want crawfish, yeah. gumbo. We got that Shea by Laporte on <laughs> there. We got whatever you need. Hey, hey, we got we got the blood. Hey, we got somebody that already got, we got a roll in the back just so you don't, if yours is tied up, we got to roll out back to the A. I love it. The tied I'm ready, up. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready to rap. <laughs> I got a sick. Dude, man, bro, I appreciate you joining us tonight. I know you're busy, got a busy schedule, but that's one thing I can honestly say. Anytime I've ever called on this man, but, hey, he's like, hey, whatever you need, Unc, I'm there. I'm there. So, I man, I appreciate the support. I appreciate you always being in my corner. I appreciate you coming on the, sh- uh, the old show that I was on um, before I left. And I appreciate you coming on tonight with Ocho and I on Nightcap. Man, I greatly appreciate Man, it. Man, you and Ocho are doing great things. We need to see more brothers working together and finding ways to keep their spirit and their careers alive. I was telling Ocho today earlier on FaceTime that y'all are a great example to the athlete that's looking forward to ending his career and what to do when it's over with. Mm-hmm. And we were speaking to branding. A lot of them try to brand themselves while they're in the league without branding their skills on the football mm-hmm. field. Mm-hmm. So it's like, just make sure that you have the right message that you're sending. And for me, you guys are sending the perfect message because y'all did everything correct on that football field. Mm-hmm. And now y'all doing everything correct in this media entertainment world. So kudos to y'all. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate that, Snoop. And that's what I try to tell guys that look like Ocho and I. Is that you know we don't have to uh, we don't have to be in competition. There's enough money. They're spending billions of dollars in the digital mm-hmm. space, billions. And I said, as long as you don't care who gets the credit, you don't know how much success mm-hmm. you can. I got to spend. I got a spinoff show for y'all just because I'm a rapper and I always come up with dope ass ideas. Check this out, spinoff show. The name of it is eighty four eighty five. I like that. Okay. We need do we need to have somebody that wore 84 and 85? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Who go who who the number 85 you want to get, Ocho? Can we get Randy Moss? I think Randy Moss. Yeah, you get you get only only 84s and 85s on y'all show. And 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 watch what it looked like. Well, that'd be live. That could just be a nice little segment. Like who was the best 84 and who was the best 85? I like that. All the 84 was better than the 85s, though. Yeah, see, see, see how it, it went there already. Don't, don't it already didn't went don't do, there. Don't do that. Don't do that. Hold on. First of all, you got Hold Randy, on. you got myself, I'm, you got my brother, you got AB. That's four 84s right now. <laughs> Who you gonna talk that I'm, with? I'm half sleep right now. I can't even answer that. Come on, Jack. Give me, give me two 85s. Hey, here, here we go. Here we go. Hey, I, I hey, got you. Tell him when he wake his ass up, <laughs> he's still Hold lost. <laughs> Let me get some 85s. Mark Duper. Oh, he was cold. He was cold with them dolphins. Okay. He with the with the bubblegum cage. He had a bubblegum yeah, yeah. cage. And Anto- Antonio Gates. Oh, he was real nice okay. at tight end. Real nice. Yeah. Hold on. Let me get some more 85s now. Oh, he matched you up, Shannon. He put you up against Gates. That's I see what he's doing. He put he putting yours up against his. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. I, I can't even. Yeah. Oh, you know what, Ocho? I'll help you out. Snoop, you remember Jack Youngblood played, Ram, with, played with, with a broken the leg in the Super Bowl. He was eighty five. Dog. He was a dog. He wore eighty five. Defensive end. He actually he was the first round. He was the uh, first round draft pick from the University yeah, of Miami. He was a dog. Uh, L. A. Rams. Yeah. God damn. That's crazy. So y'all got a defensive guy on your all eighty five hey, now. All of us. Yes, say, oh, Joe. Randy, me, my brother, A. B. That's all I'm gonna say. All I ain't gonna give you no more. You don't need no more. Hey, Antonio Gates. That's Jack a lot of numbers. Blood. Ocho, <laughs> Chad Johnson. See, see, y'all got y'all got hey. sacks and big hits on them. Y'all got sacks and big hits with, with young blood on your A five side. Yeah. So we got you, Ocho. Right. Hey, Snoop, we gonna get you out of here, bro. Hey, appreciate it tonight. Good luck, whatever you do. Hey, man, I can't wait for the album. Hey, man, be sure to check me out on The Voice, September 23rd. I'm one of the coaches on The Voice. It comes on NBC on uh, September 23rd is the first night. All right, y'all heard him. September 23rd, he's now one of the new coaches on The Voice. Uh, NBC, right? NBC. Make sure you go check out Snoop Dogg, man. Hey, Snoop, we appreciate it, bro. Thanks for joining us. Love.